Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the, I guess we'll just call it a finale for now I guess. But in the last part we just rescued Huey, Dewey, and Louie and now we're going to go after the lucky coins. So let's start with stage 4. And uh, this is our fourth stage, it's mainly just a fire level. Now this level can be a bit challenging because there are some platforming segments that are really tedious to clear and uh, I don't really like it that much but hey I've managed it on my test playthrough let's see if I can manage it now bounce on these bats not a problem now platforming segments like this there are these ice cubes and whatever those green blobs are doing they're really doing a good job of getting rid of those ice cubes uh, if you have a mallet in this section, it makes it tedious to clear away those statues. But if you have a secondary weapon, you should be fine. Like I said, timing is key on those platforming segments in this level. And trust me, you're going to need a good twitchy finger. Four. Let's jump right now. Okay, there we go. Awesome. See, those test playthroughs do a lot. Trust me. If you're planning on doing a Let's Play in the future, please do a test play. You will not regret it. But yeah, so we're introduced to this segment now, and it's actually pretty damn easy, to be honest. I mean, I've played a lot of Mario and, and Sonic the Hedgehog in my life, so I'm pretty used to these, uh, segments all together and wow well at least there's a there was a hitbox there for me f to take okay now it's this part that's tricky because once you start jumping on those ice cubes they will start melting what right away so let's see if I can clear this with my first go one two three four eight, five eight, six seven, fuck Oh well. Let's try that again. This time with gusto. I don't want to. I don't want to get a game over in this playthrough. Oh wow! Really? Fuck! Fuck! No! Damn it! Oh wow! I hope I don't get a game over here. The recording curse. It's happening right now. No! Damn it! I was almost there! Fuck! Uh, Alright. Two more lives. How can this go Fuck! Now I have one more life. So if I get a game over, I do have to start the stage all over again. That's unfortunate for me. So... Let's try and clear it this time. Mm. Alright, there we go. Lucky that time, I guess. Holy hell. Alright. Let's go on ahead and try and dodge these guys. Alright. Those platforming segments usually aren't so hard. I mean, when I first done my test playthrough, I actually got it in one go, but unfortunately for me, my recording curse says different otherwise. But I'm up here, I might as well get back an extra life that I've essentially lost. Gotta watch out for those fire bars, balls bars. Huh. <laughs> Mario on the mind. But hey, can you blame me? Fuck. Alright, well, let's go on ahead and, uh, I don't want to die here. Not like the bosses, not like the upcoming bosses are going to be hard. Alrighty, so, this bird. Pretty easy. I'm not going to bother using the CD trick on this bird, but 
because he throws bombs in three different directions, swoops down to attack you, all you really have to do is jump on him and that's pretty much it. Though I didn't really keep track of how many times you have to jump on him, but hey. So I only have two more extra lives. Unless I find any good ones in the next couple of levels before the final area of the game. But we'll see how well my luck is. And that's that. That's that boss. So we got our first lucky dime now. That's in a glass jar. Again, I really don't know why Magicka wants um, these dimes to begin with. It's never really been explained. But with that said, let's actually go on ahead and go to stage 5 now. Which is a desert theme. <laughs> Haven't seen that before, have we? No, not necessarily. And I'll continue. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, good. You want to keep your... Uh, hammer. I don't want that. Thank you. Alrighty. Good. Awesome. Quicksand. Hate it. Don't know why bats are here. Unless they're desert bats. Which, that's really unheard of, to be honest. But hey. I want that extra hit point. Thank you. Alright, let's jump over here. We got these falling rocks. Be careful. This is where platforming gets really heavy. On this game, anyway. In this level. Alright, ignore this door completely. You want to go completely to the right here. Take this door. Because we get an extra hit point. And I like that. Don't know why I jumped on a scorpion. I should be poisoned at that point. But extra life right there. I actually want that. So I'll go on ahead and take that. Sure, why not? Alrighty, so... You want to take the second door. So I'll take the second door. And we get a hit point. So that's always good. Don't know why, but hey. We got it anyway. Be careful with those arrows. They can be pretty tricky to dodge. I didn't go this way in my test play. So this is completely new to me. But, hey, I've dealt with some purvilous uh, platforming in the past. This has gotten nothing. This has nothing compared to the other platforming uh, that I've dealt with. You want to go completely this way. And then, I guess, take the second door again. And there we go. We are at the boss of this area. And uh, it's really not that difficult, especially because what you want to do. I th I've never noticed that song note before. I really never noticed that song note in my test play. I think it kind of disappeared, but whatever. So, what you want to do on this. Uh, boss is uh yeah see that song note completely disappeared again but what you want to do oh I have a CD what am I doing first you want to just jump on a snake's head and then you can hit him like that if you have uh the mallet but since I have the CD I can completely just ruin this boss's day and st still be okay Oh fuck. Oh fuck, okay. That was close. Unfortunately, you do- Ah, fuck! Oh, I forgot I had some extra lives. <laughs> Alright, we can keep this going, I guess. We're only at nine minutes. 
Nothing too horrible or bad. That snake d design really looks hideous and I don't know why. But we're done with that. We're done with the boss. So yeah, if you have a mallet, you just want to keep jumping on the snake's head and uh, keep whacking the bird. Be careful with the song note to be careful with the snake's fiery breath. Doesn't really make any sense to me at all, but whatever. Alrighty, so actually I think I'm going to cut the part right here because we're only 10 minutes in. And I don't know how long this level is going to take me, honestly. So I'm going to cut the part right here. So in the last part, next part will be the last part, we'll actually be going through... It's a snow-based level. I don't know what to call it. And then we'll be uh, going against Magicka herself. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Blue Hedgehog 2010. Happy gaming, my friends.